So thank you. Following breaking news live at five, if you got caught in traffic on I-40 this morning in Burke County, that's because someone traded gunfire with a state highway patrol trooper. We have the crime scene mapped out for you on your screen. Now the woman accused of pulling the trigger is in stable condition. Troopers say they were called out after several cars collided along the highway near mile marker 114. That was not the only issue though. Our Ron Lee is joining us from the scene where this all happened. Ron, troopers are telling you there was also an armed kidnapping involved. Is that correct? Alex, that's exactly right. This all started off, as you said, as a multi-car accident uh, in McDowell County here along I-40. But the pursuit really kicked up very quickly as soon as they found out that there may be an armed kidnapping in all this. Troopers tell me when they pulled up behind the suspect vehicle, that's when a woman inside started shooting at them. Now, the shots came from a woman who was in the back end of the truck. Sergeant Aaron Johnson, who is a 19-year veteran of the State Highway Patrol, was able to return fire where he did hit that woman. She was given life-saving procedures until medical help could arrive on the scene. Now, as of this point, we don't know who that person was, and truthfully, according to the release, troopers don't know either. Right now, the suspect is listed in stable condition. This also happened several miles away, so we're asking officials right now how the truck got here and who may have been behind the wheel. Also, we're trying to find out who may have been kidnapped and what their situation might currently be. For those stuck behind those police lines in that massive traffic jam, it was a long, miserable commute with very few options. Well, I just live up the road not too far and the interstate shut down. You can't even pull out unless somebody lets you out because of so much traffic. And then when you get in, it's just bumper to bumper for going five miles an hour. Now, Trooper Johnson was placed on administrative leave. That is pretty much standard operating procedure when it comes to situations like this. This is an ever-changing and very fluid story. We will keep on top of it and let you know exactly what happened as the investigation progresses. Live in Burke County, I'm Ron Lee, WBTV on your side. Ron.